Greetings, loved ones. If trying to protect a child against sexual abusers, one might want to know what to look for to indicate someone is a child predator. It would be convenient if we could spot a child abuser in a crowd to make sure they didn't come anywhere near a child. Who are these child abusers? Help us get these messages out. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the like button and the notification bell. And please share these messages with others. You could save a life. So let's talk about sexual abusers. Who are these child abusers? Again, I'm going to say, if trying to protect a child against so child sexual abusers, one might want to know what to look for to indicate that someone is a child predator. It would be convenient if we could spot an abuser in a crowd to make sure they didn't come anywhere near our children. Unfortunately, sexual abusers do not wear black hats, nor can anyone characteristic tell you who they are. Child abuse offenders often look and act just like everyone else. In fact, many times the family of the child has a relationship with the abuser either because he or she is a family friend or a member of the family. So who are sexual abusers? There is no single type of person that is a sexual abuser, and they can be men or women of any age, socioeconomic status, but are generally known by the child as only 10% of child sexual abuse cases are perpetrated by strangers. Here are some statistics. 60% of sexual abusers are known by the child but are not family. 30% of sexual abusers are family members. Sexual abusers are mostly men, whether the victim is a male or female. Women are the child abusers in 14% of cases where the victim is male and 6% of cases where the victim is female. And 25% of sexual abusers are adolescents. So let's talk about some characteristics of child sexual abusers. While a sexual abuser can be anyone, many share certain straight traits. In Canada, in a study, 40% of convicted child sexual abusers were abused as children and tended to choose victims close to the age at which they were victimized. Abusers may also be frequently aggressive, as one study found that 50% of child victims experienced force as part of the abuse. Offenders have personality characteristics that facilitate the sexual abuse of children. For example, Child abusers are attracted to children sexually and are willing to act on these impulses. Sexual abusers also must overcome the internal barriers against sexually abusing children, overcome the external barriers against sexually abusing children, overcome the child resistance to sexual abuse, which includes manipulation of the child into involving them in sexual activity and then coercing them not to tell others about it. Because of these necessities, child abusers may appear very charming or likable to win the trust of the child and those around the child. According to the CDC, over half of all children in the world experience violence every year, so the question is not if you'll encounter a victim of violence. The question before God is what will you do when you do encounter them? You could be the person who saves a life. Micah 6 8 says, He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. You are called. We are all called to be champions for justice. If you're a victim, I want you to know there is a way out. It is not your fault. Abuse is not love. And most of all, you are not alone. If you are suffering violence, reach out to someone today. If you find yourself in a dangerous situation, call 911 for help. If you know of a child or other person suffering violence, tell the authorities. In our next episode, we will talk about why children are sexually abused. Until then, God bless you.